You guys have been asking to see our home. Now's the time. Welcome to our home. Come on in. Oh, I better get the camera first. You guys need help coming in, don't you? <laughs> Like Michelle said, welcome to our home. And I think we'll start here at the front of our home. We have, well, actually, should we call her by her name? Okay. Welcome to Stella Streamer. Stella Streamer is what we came up with. We'll start in the bedroom, which we all can't fit in there. One at a time, please. <laughs> Negative number one. In here, we have our queen size bed. Our beddies fit on the bed, fit nicely. We did get a three inch latex, organic latex with an organic cotton cover topper to put on it. So it's not memory foam, it's an organic latex. We do like it so far. Yeah. We just got our mattress topper delivered to us. So this is what it looks like when you get one layer of plastic off of it and it expands a little bit. Or if it sticks out and shoots me against the wall. And the bed, you can actually put up and down. So you can sit it clear up. So if you want to watch TV in the bedroom. Which is right there. And it does pull out as well. And that also gives you more room squeezing past the bed. But it's not that bad. We just yeah. go here to sleep. It was kind of tough getting in the bedroom with Vinny as well. What? Uh, yeah, around the bed. Yeah. Yeah. Now we had more space, you know, at the mm -hmm. foot, but I actually think we have more room on the sides, just not at the foot. It's almost the opposite of what we had in Vinny. I agree. Um, the good thing is, though, is that when we dry camp somewhere, yeah. with Vinny, we had the, the slide in and you had to climb over the bed to get to the closet. We don't have that with this. What we have is what we always have, no matter if we're dry camping or not, which is really nice. Another thing that we didn't have is... The nice uh, in size end tables here uh, that also has a drawer and another cupboard at the bottom. The bottom cupboard down there goes all the way back. Right. The depth of that, and it's the same shape. Right. So you got all of that room on both sides. Right. And the drawer, it goes back quite a ways, yeah, but it's about. not all the way back yeah. there. And then the overhead bins, bear with us, we're still reorganizing, but Brian has a lot of his camera equipment bags up here. And then again, bear with us, look quickly. Michelle's, some of her clothes, <laughs> a few Not of mine, all of them. a few of mine. The, oh, and the lighted cupboards, I like Yeah, that. it has a light that comes on in the cupboards. Has a light up above for a little ambiance. Right, and then there's throughout the uh, rig, there's the fl uh, little floor motion detector lights. So that's kind of nice at night uh, when you want to get up to go to the bathroom during the night. You don't have to turn on any lights. You don't have to feel your way. Uh, they just come, come on, on as you walk, <laughs> and then they'll time out. And there's lights underneath the cupboards that you can flip on. Oh. as well yeah a control panel yeah. and it also at night you have the option to turn all the control panels off so that the light doesn't disturb you at night so that's nice so if you're ready to go to bed you do, you can put the bed back down as you're laying in bed as well mm -hmm. we do have uh, storage under the bed like most RVs do as well mm -hmm. and drawers underneath there's a, a big drawer here and then there's one drawer on each side that's fairly wide. It's mm -hmm. not so deep because that goes into the bed, but. Yeah, and then there's storage in the middle part of this when you lift the lift bed up. The bed up. We've got it pretty jam-packed in there. We even got the Instapot in there. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. So we do have sliding doors. I can figure out how to do it. We got one side this way. Pocket doors? Yeah, pocket doors. And this one's a little on the tough side. Needs oil. Yeah. Yeah. And with the Airstream, it does leave a little space up above. We do have our hooks here. We did get a couple more hooks that we might put up here. We're trying to debate if we want to put hooks up there or not. Either a hook or a picture of some sort. Yeah, that's one thing that we have. We have a little bit more wall yeah. space, a little bit more than we did with Vinny mm -hmm. for putting up pictures. We had almost zero, zero. Like very the, little. There was The hallway and the bedroom. I think that was it. 
a little space up here that we just put like all of our baggies and plastic wrap stuff like that up here got a nice storage here for all your spices and everything got a deep storage here freezer space our refrigerator and freezer is about the same mm -hmm. as what we had with Vinny so now we go over to the uh, stove and range but I always like to call this the easy bake oven we have an oven but it is so small we have used it once twice both times I think with a pizza so the pizza fits and then our cooktop range I like this because these pop out really easy and they're really easy to clean. Some people have said that their pots tip on here. Ours, we haven't had that issue with yet, but there is an insert that you can get that covers this entire top. The only problem is when you take those out, if you don't want these holes showing, then you have to plug those with something. I suppose you don't have to, but food could get down in there easily if you don't. But so far, these are working. We may look at that grate mm -hmm. and put that in there. Mm -hmm. This vent top is nice because it vents directly out. It doesn't circulate the air. That always cracks me up when you have the vent fans that just has a filter there and it circulates the yeah. air. And if it's you're burning something or whatever, and it's just basically circulating that uh, burnt air and you got to turn all your vents on, at least this vents it completely out. Yeah. They did put a lot of good quality mm -hmm. uh, fixtures in here, like the Kohler faucets and that. But This does just have one speed. It's either on or off. The other thing I like is the whole backsplash. It is so easy to wipe up like grease marks and um, water spots. Love it. Love it. I did install a paper towel holder on here. Kind of a nice place for it. Got the stainless steel to kind of match the look we have a little uh, microwave slash convention convection oven uh, uh, slash grill gr yes we have not used the grill part of it yet yes they have oh we have so, <laughs> so you got your microwave your convection and then there's your grill burner up there so you can kind of toast things or get the top of your pizza nice and Crispy. I do like the size of the sink. We have this great, great, great um, dish drying rack that we set over here for our dishes. So I like that. And then it stores easily in this underneath the sink. Don't look at our trash, but there's our little mini trash. We have a little bit of space behind there. Mm -hmm. um, we have two drawers. Catch all drawers. Yeah, catch all drawers, lots of command strips. Mm -hmm. and, and room down here for even some things it kind of uh, goes up a little higher there extra bags mm -hmm. and we just got this little towel rack at the container store and it fits perfectly it's like the perfect width and it has a little rubberized um, mm -hmm. rod there so your towels don't fall and we have more storage down here where we keep our pots and pans more pots and pans and we also have the induction hook top this is where we're keeping our silverware trays because in this model we do not have a drawer that holds silverware so we went and bought clear silverware trays and that way we can at least see what they are up there and they they do not move <laughs> during travel yeah well, we we use that liner um, shelf liner shelf liner yeah thanks and we put that there and they're they're like stuck they don't move we did get these soft storage bins that are really nice because you can push them all the way in it's got a little bit more room there but it's perfect for when you got a curved cabinet so they can, if you're pushing them way back in there and you need to put something else in there, they kind of form to your cabinet. So that's kind of nice. That's where we're keeping just some extra bags of food. Mm -hmm. Big bags. Then we have another one here that we keep all of our cups. And we got rid of our dishes that we got at um, Ikea. Ikea. And we ended up getting some cheap plastic ones. Right, these are just for some of the bigger utensils that we use and then our knife holder is there as well so then we got our dinette the dinettes they're kind of nice because 
I've got a button here that you can make it go up. I'm not going to go too far up because it's going to crunch my little catch-all here. I use this as my desk, push it aside in the evening when we eat dinner. And if we have company over, I just unhook it and move it. This also is where it puts the table down if you want to make a bed and you have company. So that will go all the way down. I won't take it all the way down right now. I'm going to take these off. And then we have the other two cushions. You take these off of both sides. And then we have the cushions that goes on here that goes level flush with this because this will go down here and then that'll make the bed. And we keep those two cushions in our closet with our clothes right now. Once we get the truck more organized, then we're gonna take those cushions and probably put them in the back of the truck somewhere. But we've still got some organizing to do out there as soon as I get more time. But I do like this, this adjustable table because I can get it just what is perfect for me when I'm working. Our Alda heating system with the radiant heat and our hot water, it's all underneath this bench. There is no storage under the bench like some RVs have. So that's what's under the bench there. So you do lose storage there. So now we're more into the lounge and workspace area, but I'll start with more of the cabinetry. We just keep some of our extra kitchen items up here for now. There's space back in here too. That we don't have anything back in there yet mm -hmm. um, other than this but we've got extra space up there that we are not utilizing right now we could pull the paper towels over store more rolls of paper towels if we want or whatever because mm -hmm. it's a little bit more narrow up in there because of that curve but at least it is extra storage we store a lot of vitamins and like excedrin and medicines in case we get yeah, sick or headaches something and stuff like that and again, you store headaches up there. <laughs> <laughs> Medicines for headaches and stuff like that. Pains, <laughs> aches, and pains. You know when you get old. <laughs> um, but again, on this side, there's also a, a shelf, another shelf that you can put things. We have not utilized that yet. Right. This is another cabinet that we have all our coffee. We've got our grinder, mixer, coconut oil, MCT oil. And then oil. we just bought those thin. Oh yeah. Um, cutting pad. Also, the, boards right there. Right at the container store. Another drawer that has our uh, popcorn maker, wine stuff, and then some of your work stuff. Yep, it's just kind of a catch all mm -hmm. at the moment. This is the uh, Bose sound bar. And the subwoofer is under here. And then Michelle's workspace. She's got a much wider workspace yeah. she doesn't even use utilize from here to here pretty much right. other than her phone up there what was it about a month actually going on almost two months we um, I used to have two big monitors to use from work and we bought this portable monitor and now I'm just using my monitor off of my laptop and got rid of the two big monitors to um, help reduce space mm -hmm. and uh, those have been working out really well so when we first got uh the airstream i had to use the keyboard up here and it wasn't the right height for my arms and everything so brian installed the keyboard tray and now it works real handy because it has a little side for the mouse and now you don't have to use a pillow to sit on right. to go up higher and i finished work just bada bing bada boom and another thing that's really nice is with the Airstream, their leather on all their furniture is really soft mm -hmm. and their cushions are a really high grade yeah. padding. They they keep their shape a long, long time. Mm -hmm. We've known this uh, from talking to other people that's had Airstreams and um, it, it is, it's really comfortable. So, right. so the chair doesn't look that comfortable, but your office chair you had before was extremely right. uncomfortable. <laughs> from staples uh, I think it was. and we hated to get rid of this because it matches nope. and <laughs> there's storage under the cushion that's what i was getting at so we um have a computer bag a hiking bag and a footstool all of that in that chair now to the theater area <laughs> this comes down or if you want an extra person sitting here you got two usb ports right here to charge things 
Um, it does not recline, but it does have your power foot rests that come up. Makes it comfy. Got a little catch-all here for your remote. The one thing that bothers us that we worry about is hitting our glass off here. If we have a drink here with our with our elbow for watching and accidentally bump it. So we kept this table that we had in Vinny, and it's been coming in handy. We use that. Folds up out of the way. You can put it here. It'll actually slide under here or you can put it out here, whatever. And it doesn't get in the road of your your footstools here, your power footrests. So we take Michelle's monitors, put them down, and show all the wiring mess we have back here. Then we have the remote for the screen that comes down. Da -da -da. Does have what's called cinema mode. If I push that, it dims all the lights to like this perfect level. This is your what they call your Firefly control panel. It also has your Polk audio radio system. So you turn that on and... You can control all the lights. It has a master where you can hit this and the entire, everything in the coach will go off as far as your lighting. Or you can hit it on and all your lighting throughout will go on. This is all lit up in all the rooms so you can clearly see where your lights are. When you're in the bedroom at night and you're going to bed and you've turned your lights off, these are the only things that are still lit up. And they still, when it's dark in here, they still get put off light that you can see. So we just reach up in bed and turn that off and it turns all those panels off. We just gotta remember when we get up in the morning to turn them back on so that we can see it, especially if it's uh, still dark out when you get up. This has a power blind for one, two, and three, the dinette, and the one for Michelle's desk area. Uh, the rest of the blinds are manual, but for some reason they decided to make four of them automatic. You got your night master, so if you hit the master up or down, it takes them all up or down. Curbside front, curbside center, and curbside rear. This is considered your rear. What? That's considered your center and that's considered your front. What? Because the rest of them are manual. And then you have your roadside. And just one for that because this is the only roadside one on the other side of this screen here. So you have your night shades and your day shades that do the same thing. Personally, I'm not a big fan of that because it's just something else that can go wrong. The motors, there has been people talking about the motors going bad, but they said they're easy to work on. I hope I never find out, but I'm sure I will. But Personally, I'd rather have the manual. I like just being able to grab it and pull it up. In the morning, I just getting ready to make the coffee. This is my lighting. I do turn this light on too. This, in fact, these lights, you can actually turn these on and off from the Firefly system, or you can turn it on there and leave it on and manually turn it off here. I like to just be able to walk up here, getting ready to make coffee, filling this up with water, turn this on, open that window. I like to open up the skylight too, which... Speaking of, is one of the best things I like about the Airstream, is all the natural light that comes in. Mm -hmm. um, I just, we had light in Vinny, but I feel like it just, it I don't know. It wasn't the same. We had big windows and you would think you would have just as much yeah. light in these windows up here. Those you can leave open all the time and nobody can see in. At night, when you're laying in bed here, you can see the stars and you can just watch the stars like at this campsite i can see the big dipper every night just looking out there that's really nice and michelle has one on her side that's a little different shaped but love all the natural light so with a lot of airstreams as far as your tv they typically have a tv mounted on the wall and if you look at a lot of the plans they're not really positioned well to watch tv or they are and you're a little bit far away from it for the size of the TV. That was another thing that made us like this plan besides the bathroom. The bathroom was a big one and the desk. Those three things is what really sold us on this. The projector is kind of one of those love-hate relationships. We always like to have a TV going so we can listen to it while we're working. So we leave the one in the bedroom going so we can listen to it while we're working because we 
never watch it obviously while we're working so we leave that on this you're burning the bulb all the time the bulbs last quite a long time but you're burning that bulb constantly if we left it on all day so that part i don't like but um it is nice that now we have theater seats right in front of a big screen tv in an airstream that you can't get in any other airstream so that was a plus we'll deal with the with the bulb i used to have a projector in a house that i had built years ago and i had this humongous 160 inch tv screen in the basement so I had changed the bulbs a few times, and so I'm familiar with that. We have extra storage up here. As you can tell, it's not really all that organized. This is your cable input with your booster button. Um, if you ever, if you're not familiar with those boosters, this is pretty much the way it is on all RVs. If you have that on and you're hooked up to a campsite somewhere that has cable TV, it'll hinder your cable TV. You got to make sure you turn that booster off so that booster is on only for when you're doing over the air uh, TV signals and then more storage here we like using these clear bins so that we can see what's in there do you want to talk more about the firefly control panel <laughs> the main menu you can control your lights on the master on and off the temperature and it will show you all of your tank levels. Mm -hmm. The screen is just for all of the lights throughout the whole rig. can control them all here. Mm -hmm. um, another screen for just the temperature. So you can turn on your heat pumps, your AC, uh, control your fan speeds, your temperature. The, this is the all day radiant heat side, again with the shower boost all of the blinds the oh well, i should say the electric blinds we actually have three vent fans uh two of them are different speeds low medium high and uh there's one here just right above where we are right now above the lounge area and then there's one in the bedroom and you can control them here you can change it between exhaust or intake you can um, actually not even have the fan running and just lift the lids to them and you can keep them on manual or auto and then you can also control the bathroom fan from here but we'll show you when we go in it's a little different the other buttons here are awnings and uh, the dinette table and bed lift mm -hmm. now keep in mind if you saw our very first video with Picking up this rig, um, the 33 comes with an electric big awning, uh, and we had that exchanged out for a manual awning because the electric ones are known to have issues. So if you remember from our previous video, the 33 Classic comes with an auto awning, and those are pretty big awnings, and they've had some issues with them. I think the newer models have taken care of that. Vinny with uh, Vinny's North Bay Airstream repair it's always hard to say he put a manual awning on this so as you can see here it shows it's locked um, so we do not use that which we're kind of happy with that yeah we really didn't care for having the uh, the automatic awning having a manual is less to worry about which right. is why we went with the airstream to begin with to have less to worry about right so and then the last button um, is more of your settings um, I like this little button, cleaning mode. You touch that and you can wipe this off and then just hit any button after that and it goes right back. So now we're in the wonderful bathroom that I'm so excited about. One thing I do want to point out is this nice big window in the back. Of course, it comes in handy when you don't have anybody behind you that you can see like a nice uh, landscape in the back. But otherwise, you can just pull this shade so coming into the bathroom here, you got your nice sink here. You've got a lot of space. We have a lot more space than we did in Vinny. The faucets are really nice faucets. They're Kohler faucets. I like how this faucet, you can actually move it because if it's hitting this, sometimes it'll splatter. You have your medicine cabinet here. You can put everything in. That's nice. We got some clear storage containers that keeps everything in place and you can see what's in there just grab them real quick if you need to pull them out to get to something 
forgot to mention that there are soft closed drawers in the kitchen as well. Yes, the drawers, but not the overhead bins. Mm -hmm. But these are. We originally thought the closet was a good size until we put everything in there. <laughs> and this isn't even everything. No. Um, uh, we've got a lot stuffed in here. Got a shoe organizer here for all Michelle's shoes. Got some more camera equipment in there. You got the cushions Definitely. for the bench for the extra bed. Once we get those out of there, we'll have even more room in there. So we had to get some shorter hangers that weren't as wide so the clothes, so the doors would close without hitting our clothes. Uh, we didn't expect that. This has a safe at the bottom of the closet. And we do have a couple drawers down here for our skivvies. Nobody wants to see your skivvies. You even use that word anymore? <laughs> and the shower. Aww. This is an awesome shower. Of course, we have our hamper in here right now when we're not using the shower. We just got this at the container store and love it. Um, it does have a nice lid on it, which I like because nobody wants to see your skivvies. And then we can put this up here. If we want it out of the shower, we can just leave it there. This was the perfect size to sit up here as well. The same width. This does come with a heated towel bar, which can be really nice on uh, cool days. Warm your towel up. It's got a little compartment up here for a little storage. It goes a little thicker as it comes back down this way. And then we also have storage down here. The toilet has a macerator. You just hit your lever. And then it takes a few seconds here. And there it is. And it refills it back up with water. You don't, like Again, you don't have to put your foot on the pedal like we did with our motorhome Vinny and uh, fill it back up. Well, this is where our towels go. We've got more towels. We just, we, we've got to do laundry. Did a towel rack here. This did not have a hand towel rack. We decided to put it there so that when we're done washing our hands, we can wipe them and we're dripping. We're dripping right into the sink because there is space on this wall over here, but then it's get on the counter here. So that's why we put it there. It's in a better spot. And we got storage down here, of course. Quite a bit of storage. Goes way back in there. Goes back around the corner even. So this space over here is actually storage back in there as well. So there's quite a bit back there, a lot more than you think. That's uh, the nice thing about the Airstreams. All of that space in there, all the curves, everything they utilize all of that space some people say yeah but that storage has curves but yeah but they're utilizing every bit of it which is really good this fan is a little different you push up on it to open it then we come over here turn the fan on now i can turn the fan off pull it back down to close Shower, we've got these racks that were already in here. You've got this cord here to hang your towels. We did get a command uh, strip hook here that we just got so that Mich Michelle can hang her uh, washcloth if we have towels hanging here. Shower is really nice. We love this. It's got a nice on and off switch right here. If you're taking a shower and you want to save water, you don't want the water running, just easily flip it off, flip it back on without turning your water on and off. Um, and this is adjustable. You can adjust it down, up, wherever you want it. There's plenty of room in here. Yeah. <laughs> well. But yeah, pretty nice. So now I'm gonna show you what we have for storage outside. In the Airstreams, most of your storage is inside, which I kinda like that, but uh, it's windy outside, so I'm gonna do very little talking out there and just kinda go through and show you real quickly all the storage. This, of course, is your battery compartment. We got two six volts ran parallel. And here you got a storage compartment in there. It actually goes back, goes back there quite, quite a bit. You can get quite a bit in there. Got a lot of space in there. You have a little storage compartment here. Keep some of our wheel chocks in. Got your storage in here. Another storage compartment in here. Again, they utilize as much space as they can. And then you got your wet bay here. 
and I put a couple 90 degree angles on there so the hoses go straight out. When I had them straight out this way, this when you shut this, it crimped them. The other compartment on the side over there, you've got two more. You've got one here and one down there. You got your hose storage where you can fit two hoses in. So this is for your stabilizer jacks, and electric to retract and extract them. This here is your outdoor shower. This here is your fresh water fill. And you got your hookup for your 50 amp. And this here is for your cable TV. And this actually screws on here so that this is not putting a lot of weight on the prongs of your cord. Um, so there's really, I don't think there's any need for a 90 degree angle here because with this exterior sleeve on here, that tightens that right down to that. That's why uh, Airstream did that. So it does not put that strain on the prongs. And here you got your propane tanks. You got two nice size tanks that holds 10 gallons each. Hi honey, you're home. But that will do it for our tour. And if you haven't noticed, our shirts had them for a while. We weren't so sure about the designs, but we, we like this one. This one's cute. <laughs> Oh says God. home is where I park it. Cute little pink trailer and we're kind of being a little modest little don't want a big logo planted all over it. We wanted you to be able to enjoy your shirts uh, without somebody's logo being all over it but we had to put our little something something on there so we got <laughs> our little living our vision there. This one is be free and in the sun, we got Living Our Vision here. If you go to our website, livingourvision.com, click on our swag and then you'll see what all we have there. We have these two and some other stuff on there as well. I think that'll do it. Thanks for joining us today. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys next week. Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.